What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I wanted to start off by saying Happy New Year to everyone. I think it's the first video I've put out this year. So uh, I hope 2021 is better for everyone. Um, leave 2020 behind and uh, fingers crossed we all have a better year this year. So yeah, Happy New Year and let's get into the video. Right, where do I begin with this? So I've been trying to think for the past few days how I'm going to make this video, what I want to try and kind of what route I want to go down, how I want to kind of build this video together. I, it, it kind of came to the end where I'm I'm just going to completely freestyle it and just kind of give you everything that I know. I just kind of go with it from that. So let's start with, I guess, a bit of a recap. So, um, so on November 16th, I put out a video of a Quest 2 review one month in. It was just a quick run up of what my experience was as first time VR owner and proper user at that point. Um, I tried a couple previously, but I don't really count those. So it was a one month kind of review of my experience with the Quest 2. And uh, pretty much it was all 90% positive. The only negative thing I mentioned in that video really was um, the Facebook link account situation. So obviously for anyone that's not aware or hasn't been following this or only just got one or looking into one now, very, very quick recap of the situation. Um, I'll put all the video links and everything in the description below. Um, but yes, when you buy a uh, Quest 2, you have to create an Oculus account and you need to link a, uh, a legitimate Facebook account to your Oculus account in order to use the Quest 2. Again, I mentioned in the review that this was not an issue for me at the current time. Um, however, I did not like the route that they were going down with that option. Um, the review was mainly positive. I said it was a great headset. It was absolutely fantastic for the for the value, uh, for the portability and everything else. And I was really looking forward to making loads of content, streaming, YouTube, and really kind of enjoying it. And actually ex just experiencing VR uh, myself, which I did. I had loads of fun. Just down to the simple things of just watching Netflix on a massive screen in this kind of virtual world. To anything else that comes in with that, uh, it was it was fantastic. Then it started to take a turn. Exactly two days after making that review, I put up a new video. I got banned from Facebook. Now, <laughs> this could not have been any more ironic. I put up a video, a fantastic review of the Quest 2, state that we don't like the option to have to link your account, but it's fine. I've had my account for 10 plus years. I've never had any infractions. I've never been, you know, kind of kicked off for a week or even 24 hours. I've never had a strike. I've never had them have to reach out and say your comment or post was banned because it was slightly inappropriate. So I was like, you know what? It's a shame that people are going through this. Bearing in mind, I didn't know that this was going to be an issue uh, before I bought the Quest 2. However, the review was good. And two days later, I'm making a new video saying I'd been banned. So that's where it all begun, and that's where from November 18th onwards is where this journey begins. Now, when I mean this journey, I mean this journey of trying to actually identify why my account was banned, not only that, but get it unbanned. Now, to see the whole journey through everything, I really recommend going and checking the videos below in the description, because there you can see from the first instant of November 18th up until uh, this most recent video now, the whole journey. If I go through the whole journey now, this video is going to turn into about a 40 minute video. And I know that because I've already recorded that and now I'm editing it down because it's just far too long. Um, so go and watch those either before or after. It's completely up to you what order you want to do it. But if you really want to kind of experience the full order of how it all went, then start with the first one on November 18th, um, which is two days after the quest to review one month in. And then you'll see the whole process of what I had to go through to get to this stage now. So now what we do is we'll jump forward um, through the video. I'll cut out all the bits where I was explaining the previous ones and we'll get straight into where we're at now. My sister then came up with an idea. So in fact, okay, I will apologize. She's mentioned this idea throughout the whole process. But I didn't ever take her up on the offer. And that was to um, put my story up on Reddit on the Oculus um, subreddit. I thought, well, I don't really use Reddit. It's not something I, I tend to go on much. Um, I don't really understand it. I just, it's just, it's, it's a Reddit forum. I, no, no, that's fine. I'm not going to do it. One disc finally got banned and everything went, including, you know, my Chris account. She said, okay, now it's time that you need to do that. You'll be surprised what kind of response you can get from Reddit. 
you have developers, you have companies that, you know, actual representatives that kind of flick through there. It can make a big difference. And I thought, you know what, fine. Okay, fine. I will I will put it on there. And in fact, about four o'clock in the morning, I think she emailed me, said, I couldn't sleep. Here's like um just a brief kind of uh, kind of over through of what what you've been going through and that's most of it's written there you can kind of flick through add and remove and kind of amend what you want it's brilliant okay so you've done most of the work for me i really should actually kind of commit to this now so i did um and i did that on the 30th of december so about four days ago for the four days from i uh, i'm doing this video so i did that four days ago and i did it kind of sometime in the morning i can't remember exactly what time it was and i basically pulled up everything that I could, screenshots and tried to put everything I could in there, all the videos I've done, and said, this is the situation. And uh, again, I don't use Reddit, I don't know what's good and what's bad, but it seemed to kind of blow up quite quick. Um, I've got it on the other screen here at the moment, it's got 1.9 thousand upvotes, and at this current time, 655 comments. So to me, that kind of seemed to blow up more than I thought it ever would. Um, and again, it, it really means very little to me. I don't understand much of Reddit. But that's where things started to change because I suddenly got an email from this guy called Tyver at Facebook Reality Labs um, slash Oculus. And he said, oh, by the way, um, don't forget, don't, don't worry, we're looking into your account. La, 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 la. This is three hours after I posted this video. Bear in mind, but... but but for context in time, three hours after posting this Reddit post, and it kind of, to me, it, it felt like it was going viral, uh, to, to my level anyway. And the email was like, we're looking into this, don't worry, um, we, we've got people on Facebook that's getting into this now, and uh, we'll be in touch shortly. Within, I'd say, five, six hours later, I got another email from the same guy, and another one to the new email address that they asked for that hadn't been linked to Facebook, um, saying, oh... Um, and I'll put it, I'll, I'll put the thing up here now for you so you can read it too. So it says, hi, thank you for taking the time to request a review. We've reviewed your account and saw that activity on it does follow our community standards so you can use Facebook again. We're sorry that you weren't able to use Facebook for a while. Sometimes we need to take action to help keep everyone on Facebook safe. You can learn more about we uh, why we disable our accounts by reading our community standards, blah, 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 the Facebook team. So from the november 18th to december the 30th that's what it took they claim i now i know that um obviously we're going through some tough times and you know maybe minimal staff and everything but really it took them this long just to say oh we can see you've done nothing wrong it's all back up again and just like that within the same so it's within nine hours of posting that reddit post Everything was back to normal. I had exhausted all options from November 18th to the end of this year. So that's a month and a half of fighting, of battling, of stressing, of having all this money, which is a lot of money to me and a lot of money to, uh, to a lot of people, with nothing that they can do just for one Reddit post and for someone to say, oh, we can see that you didn't break any community standards. Everything's back to normal now. Don't worry about it. So... Yeah, that's pretty much bringing us up to where we're at now. Um, I got that. I didn't respond that day. I was still very, very upset about the whole situation, as you can imagine. That came in at quarter past eight. So from that point, I kind of left it there and I thought, well, that's great. Um, they gave me a £20 Oculus voucher for the store. And, you know, gave me a kind of a slap on the back of the head and off you go, laddie. You're all sorted. Um, don't worry about it, you know. Oh, this video is already longer than I wanted it to be. Um, this has been the worst experience of anything I've had, like within a company or any online purchase or any kind of like this ever. And I'm not stopping there just because mine's been sorted, um, because I'm not, not the only one. I tried everything I could to reach out to them and get this fixed. And I was adamant, even through all these videos, all these comments on YouTube, on Reddit, on Twitter, people saying, bullshit, you've done something wrong. They don't just do this for nothing. You're the one that's just kind of crying and, and, and getting on about, you know, all this stuff. And 
I knew I was, I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong at all. And I knew this was the case, but I had no facts to give anyone to say, look, I am, I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. This is my point I'm trying to make. They are wrongly banning people for no reason. And this is all down to, I, I believe, I kind of their, their AI and the way that they've written everything. And it's just flagging up the wrong accounts and they don't have the manpower to deal with it. I don't know how they don't have the manpower because they're a massive company and hey, probably the ratio between staff and the people that's been affected is is probably so far outnumbered it's unreal. I get that. But then you need to go back and you need to get your engineers to fix this fucking algorithm so you don't have such a big ratio of small staff to high consumer that's going through this situation because a month and a half of all this stress and no indication as to one, whether it will ever be fixed, two, whether you'll ever get anything back, and three, whether this thing right here is ever going to be usable by you again. It's not on. It's really not on. And I, I just don't know why there's not been more done about it yet. I don't know if I was just lucky at the timing, whether it was just coincidence, because if I hadn't posted that Reddit post, would I have still got that email that same day saying we finally got around to look at it? Did that just kind of, was that all coincidental or was that Reddit post the catalyst to getting them to get it sorted? Was was that what spurred it on? Did someone see that and say, oh, this is gaining some traction. This is negative. We need to fix it. Do they care at that level how negative it is considering how big of a company they are? I don't know. So, I, I'm not too sure what their process is on how they're dealing with this and, and how they're managing all these accounts, whether they're just like kind of leaving the majority of them there until enough traction is gained by individuals that they think, okay, yeah, maybe we need to look at this specific account now, or whether they are just that far behind that they're still trying to get through to everyone. I don't know. Um... And I'm going to still try and find out more about it because I'm not just going to leave it here just because mine's been fixed because I know so many other people's haven't been fixed. I need to know what their process is. I need to know for other people's sakes, like when my Facebook account finally went down, they said, all right, okay, your 30 days are up. Your account's been permanently disabled. There is no way. And it says there is no way to review this. There is no way to get this back. Well, clearly there is because within hours of me doing the Reddit post, it was back. Everything was back to normal. I didn't know. My friends knew because they saw me back on Facebook. <laughs> they were keeping an eye on it for me without me knowing. They just messaged me say, hey, I can see your face and your profile here. I was like, well, that's weird because I'm not on there. Well, do you want to have a look? Okay, log back in. Everything's normal. They didn't tell me. They reached out eventually, but I don't know how many hours after it was. Um, but this is the point that there's just no... there's. <sighs> My most frustrating thing in life is communication. Um, I say it about, about my work, I say it about home, I say it about family and friends. Communication is key. If there's no communication, no one has a fucking clue what's going on. If someone like that, I know a company like that are not going to want to admit that they screwed up this bad. But come on, when they're dealing with this, they need to be in touch and communicating with the people that are affected. Because... <laughs> I had no idea whether this was ever going to get fixed or not. I had no idea if they were truly looking into it or not. They never really reached out to me until the end, until after the Reddit post. I was always reaching out to them. And even when I was doing that, it was just like, well, pff, we tried. We sent the details off to Facebook. Yeah, they should get back to you at some point. That's it. But again, I just wouldn't have known what was going on. And this is the frustrating thing. And this is the frustrating thing for other people is that they just don't know. People run their own little companies through Facebook. They they have so many family and friends. And don't forget the year that we've just left behind is the worst year of our living lives. The majority of people alive now has never experienced anything as bad as what we've gone through. It's been horrendous. You know, the, <clears throat> there's been more depressed people. There's been more suicides. All these people, and they rely, a lot of them, on social interactions. And if their physical social interactions have been taken away then they revert to online interactions as much as they can. And if they're innocent in this situation, they get a VR thing and it's that's great. That's good for them. And then they, you know, but they're keeping in touch with friends and family other thing through Facebook. And then suddenly it's just gone. It's just ripped away from them. 
for no explanation, no fault or no indication as to whether they're ever going to get it back, that leaves them in a darker place than what they were before. So you can take this and you can really expand it further of a situation where it's not just, oh, well, I can't use my 300 quid headset or oh, I can't send this meme to my mate anymore, not at least through Facebook. You can go so much deeper into how effective this has been for people that are vulnerable in the year that we've just left and even still the year we're going into now because i mean the numbers where i am in the uk are higher than they've ever been so this is still affecting people in a negative way and don't forget at the end of the day facebook was started and still is a social media platform it's a social media network for people to stay in touch with friends and family if you're just just wrongly taking that away from people for no reason that you're almost just ripping away friendships and communication between each other. So it's more serious than what a lot of people probably can see it as because, you know, you gain tunnel vision, you think, oh, it's just this, it's just that, or whatever. No, it could be a hell of a lot more than that. And that's, I think, as a whole, what really pisses me off of the whole situation. And this is where I'm still going to be pushing to get this fixed. So I'm not going to really be able to do it on my own. I am going to need a lot of help from a lot of people. So the more we can try and gain traction together as a community, the more we can try and get more people um, out of this situation that I'm in. Um, again, Reddit seems to be an amazing place, and I'm going to keep trying to use that more and more. But I prefer to do things like this. I prefer to just, just talk about it rather than type it, because then I can really express it a bit more than what I can down here. But if I'm typing, then I've got time to think about what I'm saying. I don't want that. <clears throat> I want to just express it and just tell you how I feel and tell you what I'm feeling. None of this is scripted. None of this is planned. I don't have anything written down here other than the screenshot of the email I told you earlier. I don't. I'm just telling you as it is. I'm just kind of waffling, I suppose. But my point being is the same thing, is that Facebook need to fix this situation before they ruin any more people's lives because it is ruining people's lives. And it's not on. So... If this is all down to just a Reddit post that gained traction that finally got them to speak up and actually fix the situation, that's wrong. If it's actually just a coincidence and that I was in a queue and it just happened to kind of coincide with that time of the Reddit post that my queue came up and my position was dealt with, then again, this is still an issue because they have not got enough people to manage this. And still, they need to look at the AI and the algorithms that are causing this issue in the first place. And I'm going to go back to the same thing that I've said since day one. To fix all of this, remove the Facebook link altogether. You shouldn't need to link Facebook to Oculus. Now, of course, I know why they're doing it. We all know why they're doing it. But the point being is you shouldn't have to do it. You have Oculus, you have Facebook separate the two of them all these issues go away because the headset itself the software the hardware everything is great it's a great product and i want to keep using it and i'm really going to struggle to put more content out there at the moment on it because i feel like i'm then just promoting them and i don't want to and i am going to put like um like a warning at the beginning or the end of any VR video I do from now on related to the Quest 2, warning people the Facebook situation or the account linking. Because whether I do content or not, and I do still want to because I enjoy the headset and it's a great experience for me. It's the first time I've had VR and I've barely been able to use it. I will be putting up a warning saying, don't necessarily trust them. Don't go out and buy it. I'm going to give you some ideas on what you could do with it. And I'm still going to hope and pray that they do finally remove the Facebook account link requirement, because I think that's the only way that they're going to get this solved. It's the only thing. They can try and rewrite the programs and everything to make sure that they don't have that issue with the account and the box and everything. It's not going to be, just remove it. Just remove it altogether. Facebook, seriously, remove it. You'll fix so many problems. It's unreal. You won't have this overabundance of, of, of complaints and support tickets and requests coming in from Oculus and, and everywhere else because everyone's being banned for no friggin' reason. And I'm proof that it's not always for a reason. The proof is in the email. I didn't do anything wrong. It just happened. So I'm going to end the video there. Look, this is just <laughs> meant to be a quick video. It didn't turn out to be a quick video. And for anyone that made it to the end, well done and thank you. Um... <sighs> I'm not going to recommend anyone buy this at the moment. 
it's as simple as that. It's a great product, it's a great headset, and I'm hoping to enjoy it again at some point. Um, it's still it's still tough for me to, to swallow that pill and, and use it like nothing happened. Because there's a month and a half of hell. Um, all we can do is keep making noise about the situation, keep pushing Facebook to remove this account link to the Oculus that really isn't required. It really isn't, right? Let's try and move on to that. Let's keep making noise about it. And hopefully, within six months to a year or whatever, we will have an Oculus Quest 2 headset that you just need an Oculus account for and everyone can enjoy. And no one's going to get banned off Facebook for no friggin' reason. That's the end goal here. And I just want to say thank you for so many comments and so many likes and so many responses on these videos, especially from Reddit. I, I'm mind blown by how well um, it was received on Reddit. Yes, we had negatives. We're always going to get negatives. But hey, it's traction still. Negative or positive is traction. And it clearly helped. I think it helped. I don't know if it was a coincidence. But either way, thank you. And hey, let's keep let, let let's keep making this noise. Let's keep pushing them. And hopefully uh we can get this sorted. Hopefully we can get this fixed. And hopefully Facebook will pull their finger out of their ass, drag their fucking ego down a little bit, and separate these two accounts that should never have been put together. And then everyone can enjoy the headsets. I get why they're doing it, but they're not doing it effectively. They're not doing it fairly, and it's not working. So um, that's kind of an end of a saga. This kind of the end of the episodes of the Facebook Oculus account ban situation. We're out the other end with a positive, which I wasn't sure we were going to get. But this isn't completely the end, because I still want to somehow help others i still want to somehow make enough noise that they really really have to do something about this if you're affected still drop your comments below i know i've had loads of comments on the past couple of videos and i haven't responded to everyone if you want to see a q a where i'll go through a lot of the comments and try and answer them as honestly as i can through my experience and through my thoughts and what i think you should do or whatever let me know down below and i'll do that for the next video thank you all again for the support um i feel like uh, so many of you helped me whether you know it or not um and yeah hopefully we can start putting up some positive videos again so i've dragged this on for far too long i'm gonna have to try and edit this down because it's about 40 minutes <laughs> and it does not need to be 40 minutes so i hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and uh i'll, I'll see you on the next one happy new year